Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of complex ovarian mass with patient aged about 84 years. You can see the pelvic cavity. Unlike simple cysts, complex ovarian cysts are solid or irregular masses. Types of complex masses include endometriomas, dermoid, and cyst adenomas. Although there are there is a complex ovarian cyst cancer risk, these masses would not necessarily lead to cancer either. Cystic uh, ovarian cysts can also lead to problems with the menstrual cycle, such as heavy or irregular periods or spotting abnormal vaginal bleeding between periods. Menstrual cycle problems occur if the cyst produces sex hormones that causes the lining of the womb to grow more. Now you can see a solid mass along with a cystic area, a large cystic area and a semi-solid mass. The uterus is ecomeconormal but is prolapsed, low lying. In this case, transvaginal ultrasound, especially 3D ultrasounds, can help physicians differentiate between the benign simple cysts and potentially cancerous complex ovarian masses. For example, cysts that contain papillary structures, solid areas, and increased vascularity are more likely to be malignant. You can see the multiple adhesions in between in, in the multiple the uterus is prolapsed. Multiple septas are seen in the cyst and adhesions are also seen in between the semi-solid portion of this complex mass and the cystic areas. Now this is left ovarian complex mass. If a complex mass is found, often tumor markers such as CA125 and sometimes HE4 or OVA1 are drawn to evaluate the chance of finding ovarian cancer. There is 70 to 80 percent chance of finding ovarian cancer in a postmenopausal woman with the complex pelvic mass and an elevated CA125. Complex ovarian cysts such as dermoids and cyst adenomas can grow too large. This can push the ovary out of place. It can also cause a painful condition called ovarian torsion, which means the ovary has become twisted. Cyst can also press against the bladder, causing frequent and or urgent urination. Complex cysts are more likely to need treatment than the simple cysts. Between 5 to 10 percent of women with ovarian cysts will have surgery. Of that number, between 13 to 21 percent are cancerous. Now you can see the cystic portion and uh, the semi-solid portion of this complex ovarian mass. In complex multilocular cysts, the risk of malignancy climbs to 36%. If cancer is diagnosed, regional or distant spread may be present in up to 70% of cases and only 25% of new cases will be limited to stage 1 disease. Further, because of cyst is filling with fluid, cyst can grow fairly rapid. Solid non-cystic ovarian tumors usually enlarge slowly over many months, cystic tumors may, large, may enlarge rather 
dramatically over weeks or a uh, few months. Now you can see the solid portion has slightly heterogeneous ecogenicity along with the this cystic portion. The general ultrasound can help to show whether any cyst or the ovary contains cancer or not. If a cyst has any solid area, it is more likely to be cancer. Sometimes in women who, who are past their menopause, the ovaries do not show up on an ultrasound as they are shrunken. Large or persistent ovarian cysts are cysts that are causing symptoms usually need to be surgically removed. Surgery is also normally recommended if there are concerns that cyst could be cancerous or could become cancerous. This is quite a large ovarian mass. Many cancers, many ovarian cysts do not rupture. Experts do not know why some cysts break open and some do not. A cyst is more likely to rupture during strenuous exercise or sexual activity. If you have a healthy uh, condition that makes you bleed easily, you will likely need surgery for a ruptured cyst. So overall, they, these account for 20 to 25 percent of all tumors benign as well as malignant of the ovary. Approximately 3 percent are malignant. Malignant germ cell tumors include dysgerminomas, endo, endodermal sinus tumors, embryonal carcinomas, and non-gestational choriocarcinomas. Simple cysts are always benign. Complex cysts have irregular or sculpted borders, thick walls and some evidence of solid areas and are debris in the fluid. These solid areas e echo back the sound waves from the ultrasound. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.